News just in that illegal crossings are dropping to a nearly four-year low after President Biden's executive action tightened asylum rules. It's left Texas with fewer migrants to send out of the state through its busing program. Julia Ainsley reports. Tonight, a stark contrast to the southern border, where streets once filled with hundreds of migrants are nearly empty as illegal border crossings have plummeted. Now, fewer than 2,000 migrants are crossing the border illegally per day, down from 4,000 in May and a staggering 8,000 daily Border Patrol apprehensions in December. We traveled to El Paso, where we spoke with the mayor about the change the city is seeing. We've seen the numbers go way down back in November, December of 2022, where we had 2,000, 2,500 every day. Now we're averaging under 400. So the sharpest decline we noticed was this June. Well, this action will help us to gain control of our border. When President Biden announced new asylum restrictions. For Texas Governor Greg Abbott, the decline means fewer migrants to fill buses he has been promising to keep sending to blue cities like Chicago, New York, and Denver. Those buses will continue to roll until we finally secure our border. Despite that promise just last month, we've learned that because the flow of migrants is drying up, Governor Abbott has been having a hard time filling those buses he once sent daily from right here to those blue cities. We spoke with city officials from six cities who at one point were receiving thousands of migrants from Abbott's buses. They tell NBC News they haven't received a bus in weeks. In New York, they told us they've gotten no buses from Texas since June. For Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., it's been even longer. No Abbott buses since December. The Biden administration says that drop is a direct result of the executive action. Immigration experts also point to increased arrests made in Mexico, which NBC News was first to report. We got rare access to immigration data showing arrests on the Mexican side have gone up threefold over the last year. Hot summer weather is also a factor, making the trek a potentially deadly one. We met Ruben Garcia, who runs El Paso's largest migrant shelter network. What we're hearing a lot now on the campaign trails about how the border is open, it's chaotic, it's not secure. Is that true? Is, is this chaos down here? No, that, that's categorically not true. In fact, the numbers are very, very low. At Ruben's shelter, we met Yosani, who told us she crossed the day after Biden's asylum restrictions went into effect. Her husband was sent back to Mexico, but she and her son were allowed to stay here, she tells us. ¿Qué es tu sueño para ti y tu hijo? Bueno, mi sueño sería... She says her dream is to be reunited with her husband and to keep her son in school in the U.S. Governor Abbott's office says Texas has seen an 85% decrease in illegal border crossings, which they attribute to Texas policies. And they said until the Biden-Harris administration secures the border, they'll continue busing migrants. Tom. All right, Julia Ainsley on the border tonight for us. Julia, thank you. When we come back, the